Hey ladies and gentlemen, Wolf Cryer here and welcome to my Season 10 Outlook. So this is going to be my thoughts on patch 2.5 for season number 10 coming in just about two weeks from now. So my favorite part coming in patch 2.5 is the armory. It's definitely my favorite addition coming to the game because finally we have the ability to change gear and skills with just one click of a button and that definitely appeals to me because I hate switching out gear and switching skills to switch from a DPS type monk for solo pushing and then a Z monk for group pushing and another group for testing different builds and that type of stuff so I'm definitely looking forward to the armory and another great addition coming in patch 2.5 is the currency tab now in your inventory screen it definitely takes up less space in your stash tabs no more multiple stacks of materials sucking up that space in your inventory now you can use that to hold more gear and that type of thing so that is very cool as well as well as that fill button on Kanai's cube that is very cool even if that currency tab wasn't done just having that fill button just makes life a lot easier no more scrambling dragging over mats for each thing you want to put into the cube now you just put your main item for your reroll hit fill boom all the mats are there nice neat easy I'm definitely loving both the armory and the new Kanai's cube fill button as well as that currency tab. Now the greater rifts I'm still on the fence about because I'm still getting a lot of those sewer maps as the first floor but maybe I misunderstood which map they were getting rid of. Uh, they said they were getting rid of the Chaldeum sewers. Maybe that's an entirely different map than the one I'm thinking it is. Overall, though, I still like the greater rift changes. You get more of the bigger maps. You get more density overall. I do still like the greater rift changes, but there's a couple maps that I would still love to just get rid of altogether because it's such a varied gameplay when it comes to getting this wide open space with a ton of mobs, and then all of a sudden you get this long corridor that seems to go on forever and ever with three mobs every 10 feet. So overall though, I definitely still like the GR changes and I do think that, you know, with the new Innis buff, I'm gonna really be digging some greater rift pushing. Now, Primal Ancients, eh, I could take it or leave it at this point. The first iteration I really enjoyed, but obviously, the loudest voices won and that was changed I'm still on the fence about primal ancients as a whole I loved the first version ladies and gentlemen I don't mind the power creep because this game kinda needs something in order to propel us forward because there's nothing other than paragon that does that right now so I was definitely looking forward to the kick-ass primal ancients but now it's a little bit of a step up with your gear by getting perfect ancient gear but overall I'm not sure with the low drop rates if it's going to be worth even trying to get one I mean if you get one that's amazing but I'm still eh, primal ancients I could take or leave at this point the first one I was wicked excited about the second one eh. all right so the meta though I'm happy that now more classes can fill one role on the current four-man meta it still bothers me that it's still going to be a Z monk a Z barb and a firebats witch doctor now you can have the demon hunter the wizard or a gen monk as that rift guardian killer all are good into the hundreds but I would like to still see some diversity overall in the four-man meta and it's still going to be Z Monk, Z Barb, Witch Doctor and then one of those other three with probably Lightning Wiz taking the lead but all three are definitely viable hundred plus GR groups 
I was doing some testing with some in his EP as that Firebat Switch Doctor roll. And it can do into the 90s, but probably not much higher than a 95, 96. I would have to do more testing, and there probably isn't that much time for me because of my job and all that type of stuff. Now, in Season 10, I personally plan on running Monk as usual. I will probably run one of the Innis Monk, but my main priority will be getting my Z Monk up and running and supporting my group because... I think in Season 9, I set myself back immensely by not having a Z-Monk and not taking care of my team so that we can progress further in Greater Rift so that we can get higher Augments, so that we can get higher Paragon, etc. I focused heavily on my Burning Monk build, but I focused to the point where I forgot that I really need to run a Z-Monk or something like that, something that allows me and my group to push even further so that I, my Burning Monk could have probably gone even higher, but I didn't have the Augments or the Paragon to push myself that far, mainly because I didn't run a Z-Monk. If you want some Paragons, ladies and gentlemen, and you want to run an off-build, then definitely run a Z Monk or a Z Bar because those two are going to always be picked up by groups. They both take some skill, some learning curve, if you will, but they are definitely good options to have on your plate in order to progress even further, both for your group and for your personal build. Whether that's an off meta build or a meta build, that's up to you. Guys, speaking of which, ladies and gentlemen, I definitely want to reiterate what I said at the beginning of Season 9. Have fun. Whether you're playing the meta, whether you're playing an off-build, whether you want to test your own stuff and see how far you can take it, that's all great. But have fun doing it, because if you're not having fun playing this game then maybe you missed the point of what a game is. Ladies and gentlemen, I had a ton of fun in Season 9. I definitely loved the fact that my personal build broke an 82, and then I progressed a little bit further, got my 84 done with an Inner's Gen, and I didn't have much Paragon. So I had fun with that, and I'm going to have some fun in Season 10 with the guys with pushing, hopefully you guys will all stop by my stream, hang out, that type of thing. We are setting up a new Discord community. I will get that information out to you guys soon, I hope. And uh, definitely looking forward to Season 10 overall. Guys, I want to thank you so very much for checking out this video. I greatly appreciate each and every one of your time. As far as clicking on this video, watching it through, especially if you've made it this far, thank you so very much. Make sure you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Guys, thank you so very much. Also, make sure you follow me over at WolfcryerYT on Twitter. I greatly appreciate your support, guys. Thank you very much. Peace.